you want to start lure fishing, but you don't know what you need to do or where you need to go. No matter what your skills, whether you kind of know a little bit about lure fishing or you know nothing at all, this video series is going to cover everything you need to know about catching pike, perch, zander, all the lure fishing. Let's go. Let's go. First thing we're going to talk about is rods. Of course we need a decent fishing rod to go lure fishing with. Now you've probably all seen float rods and carp rods and stuff. They're not ideal for lure fishing. They're not designed for casting every 30 seconds or two minutes. Now I'm going to show you three different types of lure fishing rods that we use. A medium, a light and a heavy. So let's get into the heavy setup. This is our bait caster Ike Abu Garcia setup and this is what we throw our heavy lures on. Anything over 50 grams going up to 100, this is what we're throwing our big boy lures on. What's a casting weight mate? Casting weight is literally just the information that's on the rod and that is a guide as to what weight law you can throw out on the rod. So for this rod it is 45 to 140 grams and that is the recommended law weight range for this rod. Okay this is our medium setup and the only difference is it's still a bait caster. The difference is we'll be throwing a lot lighter laws on this rod. The casting weight for this rod is 7 to 24 grams. So you can throw out a lot lighter laws on this rod and it's going to be much easier to cast out because you've got the bend in the rod and also because the tip is more flexible you're going to be able to feel those lighter laws actioning through the water much better. Why is it called a medium rod? This is called the medium rod simply because it sits perfectly in between a really light setup which might be 2 to 7 grams compared to that big setup I've just shown you from 140, 50 to 140 grams. This is that in between. The brilliant thing about the medium rod is you can catch all the species. You can get small enough lures on here where you can pick up the perch and the zander and you can get them decent big boy lures on there to catch them pike. Okay then, and our light setup, carrying on with the trend, we're getting more and more flimsier with the tip. We're gonna be throwing much lighter lures out on this setup. This is a two to seven gram setup, so you can throw them really little lures out, get them under them bridges, get after them perch and that zander. And what's great about this rod is when you are throwing those little lures, because the tip is so flexible, you can really feel that action in the law, in the water, you can feel what your law is doing. There's no point throwing a tiny law out on a big stiff rod because you're not going to know what the law is doing in the water. You can't feel it. So that's what this is going to do. It's going to really give you that action feel in the water. And the bigger the fish you catch on the light rod, the more fun it is because it's absolutely bent over and I love it. What reels are you using on them rods, kid? For the lighter setups, I like to use a spinning reel simply because that's easier to cast out the lighter stuff. For the medium and the heavy setups, I like to use a bait caster reel simply because it's just so much easier and more comfortable to cast and cast and cast. When you're repetitively casting, you know, all this foul arm opening gets a bit... With the bait caster, it's just thumb action, thumb work. It's also really accurate as well. Because of that thumb control, you're heading towards a wall or a snag, you can stick your thumb on there as like a break and stop your lord dead in the air. And All the stats for everything I've just told you is on the screen now. If you're just beginning and you have no idea, you have no idea about setups or anything, this is what I recommend for you. What fishing line you got on there, kid? Now we haven't got generic fishing line on our lure fishing setups, we have braid. Now this is a nine stranded braid all interwound together. It's much stronger than ordinary mono fishing line. It's got no stretch in it, it's ultra abrasive so you know you're catching on sharp bits. Braid is definitely our line of choice when we go lure fishing, it's not going to snap. You can choose a really good strength. You can go really light as well if you want to on those lighter setups. So for our pike setups, me and Tom use a 27 pound braid. Let me show you our light rod and the braid that's on here. It's much lighter than our pike fishing setup, which is 27 pound braid. I would recommend you use higher. 
This is 15 pound braid. Braid is what we go for, even on the spinning setup, even on the spinning reel, the bait caster reel, braid is what we go for. My mate had a 30 last week. Let's talk about the business end of the law fishing setups. And what I mean by that is, what's going on between the last two, three feet of your line. So you've got your law this end, and then the rest of your braid. In between that, you're going to need a trace. What's a wire trace? A trace is something that attaches from the braid to the law, which doesn't allow a pike or a predator fish to bite through the line. Now when we go pike fishing, between the law and the braid, we like to use a wire trace. This is nice and strong, the pike can't bite through it, nice and simple. And for the smaller setups, you can use some fluorocarbon, which is a bit more finesse, it's a bit more invisible. Um, it's for those lighter fish, the perch and the zander, they're not gonna see it so much. These are our recommended products here. But what you're using to catch the fish, mate? For pike, we're gonna be throwing big laws out like this. On the medium setup for pike or maybe perch or zander, we're going to be throwing medium lures out like this. And for our lighter setups, we've got a little shad there on a three gram jig head, which brings it all to about five to six grams. But anyway, enough about lures, because we're going to cover more of that on the next episode. Where am I going to go to catch all the fish, kid? All you need to know now is where to fish. So let's show you. Just quickly, before we talk about location, I want to give you a quick roundup of the bare minimum you need to go law fishing. So for starters, you're going to need your fishing rod, you're going to need your rucksack with your laws in your bag, you're going to need a landing mat, because you don't want to be putting the pike down or any other fish for that matter on gravel or grass if you can help it get a landing mat. And of course, a landing net. And it's so, see that ninja on a little magnet there? Buff, when you're law fishing, you can, you can keep it all compact and together. Net on your bag, mat on your bag, rod in your hand. Ready? Lakes. They come in all shapes and sizes. They come in farm lakes, they come in estate lakes, they come in your mum's lake. But lakes are brilliant. They can be a bit daunting, they can be a bit big. How would you go about fishing one of these lakes? Simply, Get your lure in, do a couple of laps, fish the margins, fish any features. Maybe on some lakes you can use a bit of a heavier lure where you can get out a bit further and also therefore the lure sinks a bit deeper into that deeper lake water that's all the way out there. You might not get so much deeper water in rivers and, and uh, canals, but we'll go into more of that lure stuff on the lure episode anyway. Yes! Canals! Man, don't we love a good canal? Me and Tom love a good urban canal. And let me tell you, the canals over the past few years have been our bread and butter. We've caught some outstanding pike from some of these locations. We've caught from that exact bridge before. You've got bridges features, you've got boat features, you might have a bit of greenery on the other side. You've got narrow bits like this here couple of good techniques on the canals. Walking the dog, obviously. Give it a cast out. Have a walk down. Just let your lure follow you on the way past. Fan cast. Stand and have a cast at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock. And that's that, real, that's that area really searched out. Um, and fish the, fish the features, guys. Get under the bridges like this. The rivers. The best predator fish are in the rivers. A six pound pike in here will feel like a 10 pound pike in a canal. But I can't go down there at the moment because it's close season. It's always worth Googling the local bylaws. You don't want to be breaking the law or fishing on private land. I like to find the slacks in the water where it's not flowing much. That's where the pike will come and snap the bait waiting in ambush there. I also like to cast upstream and work the law against the current. Again, that's super weird for a pike yeah. and it might think, there's my dinner, I'll have it now. Get on the rivers, you will find the best pike right there. 
So that is our guide to lure fishing for rods and reels and for location where to go. So thanks for watching guys. If you think we've missed anything or you'd like to add something on, please feel free to let us know in the comments. Links are in the description, all down below, down there. Thanks for watching the video guys. Peace.